Notre Dame du Haute Ronchamp. In 2012, I visited Notre Dame du Haute, which is a pilgrimage chapel at the village of Ronchamp in eastern France. For me, it was an architectural pilgrimage, as the building is one of Le Corbusier's most celebrated works, which I first read about some 45 years ago and had always wanted to see. It has taken me some time to achieve this. The site is on a high hill in a mining area to the north of the city of Belfort. There had been a pilgrimage chapel on the site since the 4th century, but it was destroyed in the Second World War. In the early 1950s, a replacement chapel was designed and built by Le Corbusier. The church authorities wanted a modern building that spoke of their relevance in the modern age, while Le Corbusier realised that he could not produce one of his usual glassy, rectilinear, machine-age structures because of the difficulties of access. He also recognised the irresistible genius loci of the site. The result is his most distinctive building, which became an architectural masterpiece of the 20th century. It can be described as a sculpture in concrete. The walls are several feet thick, in fact they are double walls, utilising concrete and stone from the earlier chapel. Le Corbusier uses the plastic possibilities of concrete to create walls which sweep up towards the sky, yet are capped by a massive roof which, despite its mass, seems to float above the walls from which it is separated by a thin strip of glass. It is supported on four columns embedded in the walls. The material is concrete, still showing the marks of the formwork, a material which became widely used in the following decades. Aluminium cladding on the upper surface keeps it waterproof. The curvilinear shapes of the walls are calculated to achieve stability, and the walls are finished with mortar applied with a cement gun and whitewashed, both inside and out. Let us take a walk anti-clockwise around the exterior. The south wall is the first one that visitors encounter, and probably the most photographed. Le Corbusier spent months perfecting the design, which is a point at the east end, becoming three metres thick at the west end. Deeply incised windows are scattered across the surface, in a pattern Le Corbusier said was based on the golden section. The east end contains an exterior space with an altar, designed for those occasions in the year when the chapel plays host to large gatherings of pilgrims. The ground rises slightly to create a natural amphitheatre. The stone for the paving and the altar is from Burgundy. The north face is similar to the south face, but on a smaller scale and at its west end are two towers built of masonry. The west end has a water spout taking rainwater to the back of the building, turning the concrete structures at the base of the wall into a dramatic natural fountain. The main tower is at the southwest corner and it houses a side chapel. Inside, the main chapel is not particularly large, as the number of pilgrims arriving outside of special festivals is not very great. The floor slopes down towards the altar, following the natural slope of the ground. The walls are white and lit by the clear story windows under the roof, and the windows in the south and north walls, which are arguably more spectacular inside than out. The window openings are splayed and slant in different directions to let the light in at different angles. The glass is sometimes clear, sometimes stained in bright colours. One can sense that this may have been one of the influences on the design of the spectacular baptistry window at the new Coventry Cathedral. 
The altar in the side chapel under the Campanile is spectacularly lit from above, giving a real sense of spirituality. The overall effect of this design is to create a space that aids meditation and expresses the function of the building as a sacral space.